privilege to see today's crowd. I think give yourself a round of applause. I think you know you 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 make me surprised with this crowd, and I know that there are many more people queuing up downstairs. They are still queuing downstairs at McDonald's, not that they want to buy Hello Kitty, you know. So I think you guys, you know, made it here. I think give yourself a round of applause again. Now there's a reason why all of us are here today, right? Yeah, you are not here to see me, but you want to hear more on Wispan, right? Am I right to say that? Yeah, I'm not that attractive that everyone is here, you know. So I I know, you know, I, I know a lot of people want to live young, want to live more youthful years. That's why we are here, right? So let me tell you tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to own all your DNA, okay? Before you leave this place, you know, you're going to look younger than before you came in, okay? Even though you sweat now, I know some of you inside, you know, wet, you know, so. You know, can we just, you know, enjoy tonight? All right? Yeah, I, I know a lot of people want to live young, want to live more youthful years. I repeat, youthful years. Not just one year, but years. I think this is not easy to achieve. Am I right to say that? Yeah? And many people want to, you know, to try all sort of methods, you know, to just want to make themselves look young, feel young, and all sort of way. And today, we are going to reveal to you what youth span is all about. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that? Now, before I jump into you, Span, let me tell you, you know, let, let me share with you what, you know, aging is all about. Do you know what aging is all about? Do you know what is aging? Now, the first thing when I ask what is aging, what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind? Sorry? Wrinkles. That's the first word, very loud. Wrinkles. And what else? What else? First thing that comes to your mind, what is aging? Lack of energy. Forgetfulness, yeah, and uh, gray hair, yeah, gray hair, white hair, whatever color it is, okay, that is associated with aging. So we all look into sign and symptom of aging. Now, like what this chart talks, you know, we have lack of stamina, fatigue, you know, loss of memory, infertile, all right, and uh, osteoporosis, immune system reduced, and insomnia. All right, so all these are related to aging. So how many of you actually experienced one of these already? I saw some of you put up your hand, you know, yeah? Yeah, and uh, that is a sign of aging, I'm sorry to tell you. Okay, that is the sign and symptom of aging. But let me tell you, all right? Now, if you settle your insomnia, if you just look into your lack of stamina, you go and boost up energy drink. If you have insomnia, you take um, you know, the sleeping pills, you know, does that solve your aging problem? No, it doesn't solve your aging problem. So today we're going to really dive right into the source of aging, okay? Now, in aging itself, it is not just your wrinkle, it is just not the age from your IC, it is not just in the stamina, how, how long you can run, you know, it's not that, it doesn't, doesn't judge by that. All right, but because aging it is causing the entire system, so that's why aging in the body is called systemic. Systemic is it causes the entire system. So in fact, many many things in the world is also systemic, like in your car. All right, anyone drive? Yeah, we have we have someone. You know, we we, we drive now. Just one part of your car which is not working. Example, your gearbox. Does it work? Your car it doesn't work anymore. So that is called systemic. It causes entire body doesn't work. It affects the rest of the body. So that's why aging is systemic. Now let's look at what really causes aging, okay? Now aging that your heart starts to age at the age of 30 to 40 years old, depending, you know, that uh, it is the range. Alright? So meaning that anytime before 30 years old your heart still can function almost almost uh, perfect. But after that, you will realize that you have high blood pressure, you have cholesterol high, start from the age of 30. Do you realize that, people around you? Yeah, you will realize that, you know, many people around their 30s start to have cholesterol high, start to have high blood pressure, they started on treatment, they started on medicine. You have people like that? That's why aging, okay? All right? And then, what about the brain? Your brain starts to age at 20 not 80, eh? this doesn't mean that, you know, dementia start at 70, 80, that's why your brain start, you know, aging, it's not, your brain start immediate, you know, around age of 20, that's why 
you start to forget things you know when you sit for exam you start to forget especially those twenties in the university you forgot things yesterday you read today forgot really huh? and sometimes and now today now sometimes when on the street you just see somebody seems like i know you somewhere but cannot remember the name have you ever encountered that that is aging okay your brain age all right scary right huh and now uh, um, this is your bone all right now as we age your bone density also decrease therefore you know our mothers especially our grandmother they usually go for bone density check okay why because you know you realize that all those young older people they get fractured very very easy because the bone are very fragile because the density is very very loose like a sponge and it doesn't regenerate anymore okay so therefore the doctor will tell you take what take what calcium now how many of you think that you take calcium you can grow back your bone no calcium is all from your bone so when you take calcium meaning that we don't want to lose any calcium from your bone it doesn't repair okay so today you will realize that after today's sessions you can be a doctor already all right now the next one is skin which most people are very very concerned as we age you look at this as we age our skin become crooked now this is just magnified how thousand thousand times okay but that is where when it is not even your wrinkles appear so our skin age at 25 around 25 okay so that's why around 20 around this age you realize that you are very concerned on your eye your what what do you call this line all right and whatever lines that you're very concerned okay all right now the older you are the more lines you have okay slightly peep to your right side and then you guess how old is the person next to you okay and the left as well you can peep mm. but tell them loudly I don't care how old am I now but I'm going to live young right I don't care how old you are but I'm going to live young because live young is the decisions right all right now as we age as well this thing also reduce this is what this is a muscle muscles start to age at 40 and general generally in Asia we lost 2% to 5% of muscle every year this is an aging process it got nothing to do with whether you go to the gym it got nothing to do with whether you go for your exercise okay so this is just an aging process all right okay now because of all this aging process as systemic you know do you realize that this is a fact of aging right you've seen this many many places all right we've seen old folks you know in the old folks home and you know this is aging correct or not yeah and um and uh unfortunately all right many of us you know are starting starting to age and Singapore government is very very concerned on this aging populations and projected that we want to build seven nursing home seven nursing home okay now seven nursing home is going to build in you know by 2020 who stay in nursing home old folks right sorry it's not old folks this nursing home is for you if you don't take care of yourself now this nursing home is prepared for you Singapore government prepared everything for us already all right this nursing home is for you we are prepared the Singaporean are aging now so therefore we we projected that you know our money we pump into nursing home because of this populations all right now why anti-aging is very very crucial does that mean that when anti-age we want to look younger we want to look younger how many of you want to look younger especially the ladies ladies put up hand no we have one gentleman here also want to look young now um in the in the world of anti-aging anti-aging or anti-aging whatever you call it all right now there are two schools of thought one school is we want to anti-age biologically meaning that in the body we want to you know we find ways to see how body age and then how we can counter delay aging in the body so therefore the study on antioxidant you know the collagen you know stem cell all this come into the picture back because you want to anti-age anti-age inside within us now there's another school of thought which is cosmetic we are very concerned on our outlook our wrinkles you know our fine lines so many people 
um, just spending a lot of a lot of money, a lot of time, just want to you know cover up aging on the surface. So that is the cosmetic. Both are equally very important, okay? But what I'm cover here is more on inside and then outward, okay? All right. Now anti-aging is very very important, okay? Because study shows as we age, many diseases are age related, okay? Especially cardiovascular. All right, and uh, also um, cancer, arthritis, cataract, osteoporosis, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and Alzheimer's diseases. Now, these are very, very typically related to your age. Do you realize that these diseases doesn't happen when we were teenagers? Yeah, only when happen after we age, now to a certain extent. Now, let me stress to you, now by 85, by 85, any one of you 85 years old here? No. Okay, by 85 years old, by all of us, by 85, 30% in this room will get cancer. That is the stat, it's the reality, it's the fact. You cannot run away. Therefore, we are very, very fearful of cancer. Not so much on anti-aging. We want to anti-cancer as well, right? Correct? So this is why it's very important that we know what is the correct way to anti-age for our own body. Okay, and therefore we can live young, live more youthful years. All right, and um, now this is the studies that done by LifeGen. It's a uh, over 20 years studies, and I, I, I think most of you sent this monkey, right? Most of you sent this monkey. Yeah, this monkey uh, is they, they are they, they are studied under a cohort study for for the last 20 years already, and uh, we realize that as we you know this cohort study. What we do is we do um, this group of monkey, they eat like a buffet. This is a calorie restriction study. They eat like buffet. This, study, this group, this cohort, they eat a restricted diet, three meals per day, those kind of, I mean, as human context. Okay, in total, we study about 79 monkeys. We split them into two groups and we study over these 20 years. Now, periodically, we draw out some data and we realize that, you know, up to today, 50% of this group who eat buffet every day, 50% of them die. They're gone. Okay? The remaining 50%, they have either cardiovascular diseases, meaning heart diseases, uh, they have diabetes, they have cancer. These are the three main diseases that reported among this group of monkeys. Okay? And then this group, what about the calorie restriction? Meaning that they restrict their, their intake. Now 80% still survive. The rest of the 20% who passed away or who died is not related to the, uh, 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 it's not so much related to the calorie restriction because this is a cohort study and uh, it could be because of age as well. All right, so at least 80% still survive. And this 80%, the reduction rate is tremendous. It's really, really significant. Now, cardiovascular diseases, diabetic and cancer rate reduce tremendously as we calorie restrict ourselves. Now, question. Now, this, this group, uh, my doctors really always present this data. They say calorie restriction, they cannot eat so much. But question, how much are you supposed to eat? You restrict your calorie, you don't eat so full, you eat 70%, right? How much? When do you stop? When do you stop? Okay, imagine today you eat and then you full, okay? You feel full and then you stop. And then half an hour later, it travels to your brain. Ha, ah, very full. That means it's 200% meal. Yeah. It's 200%. Because the brain and the stomach got a distance. You need time to travel this, you know, the signal. There is a distance. The moment you feel full, the feel full is already 200%. It's over. So what exactly 70%? Nobody in human know what, what exactly what 70% is. Okay, so therefore, our scientists, life gen scientists, they, they, they take their gene and then they study two groups. What kind of gene uh, express it differently? And therefore, we have the answer. Okay, and the answer lies on aging defense mechanism in the gene expression. Okay, now just now we saw the monkey. Now let me ask you, which one do you want? When you're 80 years old, when you're 90 years old, which one do you want? You want the right side or you want the left side? You want to, for, for gentlemen, you want to tie your tie or you want to pull up your oxygen? <laughs> That's an oxygen tube. 
okay you want to cycle or you want to sit on a wheelchair also wheel you know so you can decide it you can decide it now all right and uh, many people that we, we we subject ourselves into aging and we we try all sort of method just want to you know stay young want to live young okay and then now so do we have the crop that you want to live young and to have more youthful lives here yeah. you have yeah do i have them not here yeah and uh can i have a short of hand how many have aged parent at home wow how many of you have aged grandparents at home lesser how many of you consider aged <laughs> <laughs> you can put up your hand <laughs> you know now whether whether you like it or not uh, for those who have aged at home when you think of you want to go for holidays you want to go for your dream holidays what is your concern you are afraid that they cannot walk the way you walk you have they don't have stamina maybe you're going to bring along wheelchair you know maybe their stomach cannot take the food in the other country so many many concerns all right but what if every one of us have you spent we live more youthful years we have the energy we have the health that go around the world that is what live more youthful years is all about okay it's not so much on make you look young no point when i when you look so young and then you lie on a coffin right it's no point we want energetic we want energy we want the sun we want your health okay that is our main objective and therefore with new skin technology with new skin those kind of um, uh, um, scientific board you know to have this technology we should call age lock now this age lock is not new to some of us because we have a series of age lock uh, product already but this age lock technology is indeed a revolutionary technology why because it is going to affect the way we age imagine with y span with u span all of us age gracefully we no longer we no longer you know concerned about whether should i bring my wheelchair out or should i not all right whether should i bring my you know my 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 salad because i don't know whether i can take the food from that country or not then we top out a lot of things there huh? so that's what i see a lot of people traveling because of that they are, they are concerned maybe go to another country constipated cannot come up you know there's a lot of people concerned right that's aging your system cannot work that is aging okay so we want technology we settle right inside the sources of aging okay that is what age lock is all about we want to target at the source not the symptom remember the symptom of aging remember the symptom of aging yeah the the symptom of aging oh just now the 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 one that you know um um causing you to have insomnia loss of stamina loss of memory that is a symptom now if the doctor if anyone just treat your wrinkle just treat this is just a symptom of aging but the symptom of aging is you know you take that it's just a temporary tomorrow you're going to lose your memory again you know you're going to you know you're going to uh, insomnia again you need to take another dose of sleeping pills so that is not permanent but right now we want to focus on the sources of aging we want to find out what causes aging okay do you know what causes aging i give you one whole list these are the things around us that cause us to age all right and uh, the sun exposure somebody asked me this this afternoon you mean the sun also cause aging i say yes but the doctor say the sun got vitamin d you know i say we want the vitamin d but we don't we don't need the uv the uv is the one who cause aging all right and uh, uvb no uva sorry uva when you buy the sunblock you realize you have uva and uvb uv that causing a is aging uvb is causing burnt so it's different so make sure you get the correct one so that's sun exposure and smoking as well whether you like it or not people around you smoke you also secondhand smoker so it causes your cell to age as well all right and i want to highlight this digital screen just now Vern asked all of you to put up your hand right either samsung either iphone you got it you have the digital screen that cause aging that cause aging now even if you don't use it somebody say no i don't use i still use nokia with the button i'm sorry people around you people next to you they are using you still exposed to this radiation it cause aging now question all these things cause aging what am i, what am I supposed to do 
what am I supposed to do? Now, these are the things that cause aging, and let me look into, you know, let me bring you to look into what really causes us to age in terms of cellular level, right? Internally, um, genetic, it causes us to age differently. Some people 60 years old still look at 40, all right? Some people 60 years old look at 80. No, some people 40 years old look at 60. Ah, so because that is genetic, all right? And also cellular metabolism, damage, the damage that accumulated in your body, especially those obese people, right? When you are over fat in your body, your body starts to metabolize a lot more fat tissues and that cause damage in your body. You create a lot of free radical in you. So you realize that fat people, you have a lot more problem and you die young, yeah? So that is um, damage and cellular metabolism. Toxin as well, debris, stress, you know, that is from within, from within us, we cannot control that, okay? Many people say, oh, I can control stress. I'm not stressful, eh? I'm not, I'm not. You know, I go for meditation, I go for yoga, whatever thing, just to distract this, this stress. But the next minute, see your phone bill, see this bill, see that bill, stress again. <laughs> okay, this is, this is unavoidable, all right? What about external? External, we have pollutants just now, the, the chart I showed you. Pollutant, the toxin, the digital screen, you know, smoke, anxiety, everything, you know, that is uh, external, including when you're jammed in the traffic, that is anxiety, okay? So all these things causes us to age, all right? Now, when it causes us to age, that's where it affects our aging defense mechanism. Therefore, our aging defense mechanism, it doesn't work as per normal. So therefore, you, ha you have a lot of problem after that. Okay, now with age log, we focus on gene expression. We target at the sources of aging because we know exactly which part of the gene that is responsible for this group of symptoms, and then we target at that. That is called aging defense mechanism. Okay, now today, after you leave this place, you don't know what aging defense mechanism, it doesn't matter. You just remember ADM. ADM will do. Can you do that? A, D, M, give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> now, because of this age lock technology, we back up with more than 30 years of anti-aging and nutritional science. Okay, anti-aging started with nutritional. Now, a lot of people start with multivitamin, you know, start with vitamin C, vitamin A. We already go into antioxidant. Okay, when people go into antioxidant, new skin already go into age lock. So that is how advanced our scientific board is. And uh, because we have a group of advisory board, and this advisory board is no joke one. They all have, they are all PhD in their own field, and uh, there are a couple of ethno-medicine professor within this, this group. Ethno-medicine ethno professor, um, meaning they focus on traditional medicine, using science, proven, and then to come up with a product. That is at no medicine. Have you heard of that? Heard of that? You're so quiet, you shake your head, yeah. If I explain to you every single one, you also won't understand. Okay, let's skip. <laughs> now, many research paper has been published. Now, these are the things that attract me because I did research for the last 12 years and I do a lot of genetic research. And uh, the other day, I just talked to the product specialist and said, oh, this one looked very familiar because I did the interferon study. That is our immune system study. And it's published here. Our Y span, our U span actually targeted at that area as well. So it, it looks very, very familiar to me. And we have been trying to research, and here it goes. We have the answer. So we have robust research paper being published and uh, even do oral presentations and published in a lot of medical journals. All right? Now, first and foremost, uh, uh, but I think, you know, no matter how good the product is, must go through proper uh, quality assurance, okay? You can, you can, you can, you know, you can, um, um, re you, you, you can find out, you know, this product, this certain ingredient are very, very effective. But what if it is not safe? Not safe for human, but it is safe for mouse, right? Not safe for human, so it, it, it goes down to the drain. So that's why research, we are very particular on that. So New Skin spent 30 years of research to find out 50,000 kind of ingredients just to fit into the ingredient that you are going to have. Okay? Now, this 6S process guarantees the quality 
guarantee the safety side of it. All right? Meaning that every single capsule or whatever you are taking, especially in use pen, is exactly the same one as the one that I'm having. It's exactly the same one as someone in Thailand is having. It's exactly the same one as... It, you, 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 I mean, exactly the ingredient, the dose, we know exactly what is that. Okay. All right. So that is what supplement is all about, and this is what we have, Y-Span. Now, how many of you heard of Y-Span? Not many. The rest, today you are going to find out what Y-Span is. Yeah? Now, Y-Span is amazing. Y-Span technology, how many of you actually read The Aging Myth? The book by Dr. Joseph Chang. How many of you read? Yeah, we have some, you know. Those people who read, you understand, you know, the entire book, what we are talking about all lies in Y-Span product. The answer is in Y-Span product. Okay? So those of you, you know, you want to find out how, why this technology come about, you can go and assess into this book called The Aging Myth. Alright? Now, what we really want is to live more youthful years, right? That is why youth span can give you. In Singapore, we call Y-Span. In Malaysia, we call U and Span. Okay? Yeah. Because of uh, country <laughs> regulations. Okay. Now, you spend, our main purpose is to prolong the years you can live. You can be active, you be energetic and healthy. Not only to live. Living in this world with no quality, no energy, no health is as good as lying on a bed, lying in a nursing home. Okay? So this is not what we want. We want to avoid that. So once you have Y span, once you have U span, the years you can enjoy life even longer. That's why it's called live more youthful years. Tell the person next to you, live more youthful years. You must... Because it's very long. Years is very long. We want to live more youthful years. It is all about youth span. Okay, have you heard of youth span? Don't have. Your dictionary also don't have. Okay? We all know what is lifespan. Now, in Singapore, this statistic is for Singapore. In 2013, this statistic, all right, the life expectancy average is 82.5. All right? Now, uh, just now, nobody put up your hand. Those who are 80 years old, never, you know, you, we don't have any 80, so we still can live, live very long. Now, for lifespan, this 82.5 is your life expectancy, is your lifespan. What is you span? You span is 75 years of your years. You can have energy, you have good health, at least better health, all right? And then you, you have, you know, more energy to go around to live more lively, all right? That is 75 years. Now, the remaining seven years, your red light. You are either lying on the bed, you are either in a hospital, in, out, in, out, in, out, or you are checked into a nursing home. All right, this is what the seven, last seven years will happen to most of us. Okay? And then what about with Y span? With U span? When we have U span, you can actually live all the way. All the way until my screen also breaks. <laughs> yeah. Can we give U span a round of applause? Yeah. <laughs> that is what U span is going to give all of us. Now, if you believe you can live up to 120 years, which is scientifically proven, believe it. It can happen with Y span, with U span. Okay, believe it. You want to live up to 120 years? Yeah? Say yes louder. You want to live in 120 years? Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, just now they're not say because no Y no U span. Now with U span you can. Alright, you can do that. Okay? Now those people, 120 years mean how many of you 60 years now? Don't have. Or below 60, huh? Anyone above 60? Oh, we have. Above 60. Give them a round of applause. Above 60, yeah. <laughs> I want to congratulate you. This is only your midlife crisis. <laughs> you have another 60 years to go. Midlife, yeah. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> and the rest of us, we have 80 more years to play. <laughs> wow. <coughs> now, age lock, Y span, U span, all right? It support our innate aging defense mechanism and is actually provide our systemic anti-aging all right now i will go through one by one with all of you what really aging defense mechanism means all right 
So these are the two keywords. If today everything you don't understand, just bring home this, okay? Now, aging defense mechanism, remember the ADM. What is ADM? ADM consists of six kind of genes. These six genes are responsible cause you to age. Now, as long as any one of these not functioning well, you age, you have a lot of issues. Example, all right, antioxidant protection. All right, do you know your body produces antioxidant? Yeah? But unfortunately, with the factor around us, we have pollutions, we have sun, we have digital screens, we have, you know, smokers around, and that cause a lot of free radical which damage your cell. Okay? Now, the antioxidant in your in your own body produced on your body cannot protect yourself. So therefore it becomes broke. You know, this part is broken and you catch a lot of diseases. Okay? And then stress the lateral response, DNA protections, inflammatory balance, tissue regeneration and improve your metabolism. I'll go through one by one with you later. Okay? <coughs> that is youth span. And then the second functions of why span, youth span is systemic anti-aging. Why is it systemic? Because it actually protects every single part of our body, all right? Especially your cardiovascular health, your brain and your immune system, your respiratory, your digestive system, your skeletal and bone system, and your muscle and your skin. So as long as we trigger this ADM, anti-aging uh, defense mechanism, in this body system, you are protected. You are really protected. Now, how would you classify this anti uh, aging defense mechanism. I would say that I own all this button in you. Now you have this button in you, this six button. Do you know where it plays? Whole body la. <laughs> you know, this Y span, you span actually own all this button and wake up all this system to work for you. So it's not a symptomatic treatment anymore, but we treat the root problem. We treat your aging problem. Okay, got it? Okay, and then once we treat your sources of problem, your, your root problem, and that's where we settle the rest of the, you know, our problem, especially like cellular response, systemic um, cytokine response, look very diagonal. Do you understand all this? Do you want to understand? Do you want to understand this? Meaning this product, this wise band actually trigger every single one, like brain, your eye, your heart, you know, your immune system, example. Okay, example your let's say your eye. When we trigger the ADM in your eye, you know, um, may it be whichever, whichever gene that is triggered, all right, your eye can see better. Those people who are wearing spectacle, all right, probably after a while you need to change your spec because you can focus better now. Your cataract suddenly, you get what I mean? It can repair. It, it can, it can, uh, you ask me how does it work, I, I really don't know how your body works. Your body is very complicated, you know. Uh, but why span can work for that? Why span can settle that for complexity in your body? Now, imagine, you know, if we started young. You know, how many of us do not need to wear spectacles? Perfect eyesight, 6'6". Six, six. Congratulations. Wow, that auntie also don't have to wear spectacles. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> now, you know why span? Why span, what, what you span can do for them? To protect their eyes so that they do not need the additional help from spectacle. You get what I mean? So I told this to my son, you know. I told this to my son. I said, you don't have the chance to wear spectacle. <laughs> they say, huh, I want to wear spectacle. I say, too bad, you don't have a chance. <laughs> that is what Wise Bank can protect all of us. All right? Now, and... Um, Okay, now let's go into what really ADM is all about. You span, why span actually focus on ADM, right? These are the six kind of genes that it triggers. Now, first and foremost, let's look at antioxidant. Okay? Now, this, this, um, this entire ADM works in the entire body systematically. All right? Systemic. All right? So, um, now, the first one we look into antioxidant defense and protection mechanism. Now, what does this antioxidant defense mechanism look like? Now, it is in you, all over your body. We are two kind of antioxidant in us. One is within ourselves, that is endogenous antioxidant protections. Now, we have exogenous antioxidant protections, that is by our nutrition. So, you realize that we take a lot of antioxidant diet, 
like your fruits and vegetables, your berries, all these has very, very high concentrations on antioxidant. That itself, it helps to boost out our antioxidant. All right? So with this, you know, once you have remembered the endo, endo uh, uh, genus antioxidant within ourselves, once our ADM being triggered, your body actually generate more antioxidant as per compare to those without use pen. Okay? So those people who has been taking uh, use pen, like our Mr. Ongi, he has started since April and throughout these five months he had increased tremendously. You see the antioxidant score? Yeah? So therefore, you know, those people who have not done your antioxidant score, please do so. Ask your friends who bring you here, please do so. Okay, now this antioxidant score is no joke. It is real. Okay? Now this score means that how much protection you have. Now the doctor cannot detect this. All right, the doctor, the most you can go and check your cancer marker, your cholesterol, that is already happening in your body. Already happening in your body, the doctor can detect. Whatever that is going to happen, which is detected by antioxidant, the doctor cannot detect that. All right? As long as you fall into red or yellow or orange or green, just boost it up all the way to blue zone. Okay? Now, blue zone, blue zone means you are protected. Anything below blue, not protected. Okay? So, what color are you? Ask your friend, what color are you? What, ask the person next to you, what color are you? It doesn't mean you wear blue, you are in the blue, okay? <laughs> Make sure you are in blue. Okay? Meaning that, you know, if, you're, if, you, are, if you are in blue, meaning that um, when you own a car, you drive a car with insurance. Now, those people without blue means you drive a car out without insurance. Anytime can I bank, no guarantee. Okay? So that, that, that is means, okay? Now, this is another example on those people. Now, Miss Doris Lim, who took what you spent over the last five months as well, uh, increased tremendously. 75. Amazing. Amazing score. Okay? So this is antioxidant defense that what the you spend can do for you. And then this toxification, this is another ADM, another aging defense mechanism that you spend, do for you, that is detoxification and cellular stress response mechanism. All right. Now, sounds very complicated, but I'm going to summarize it, okay? Now, what this Y span, this U span can do for you is especially the cellular stress response. Now, do you know when you are stressed, your whole body is like, you know, constrict, yeah? That including your blood vessel. There's a study shown, study done in this, uh, in this entire age log. They realized that those people who have this Y-span ingredient, their arterial flow is better. The blood flow is better. Okay? Therefore, you know, your, your blood pressure can be stabilized. Okay? And your cholesterol doesn't form because it, it actually reduces the formations of plaque in your blood vessel. So the higher the stress you are, the higher chance of getting cholesterol high, right? We have this study shown as well. So we, we, we have this reverse, reverse of this condition by Weisband research paper being published. Now, when you have a better flow, okay? You have a better flow in your circulation system, meaning that everything in your body acts better. Because your blood circulation delivers oxygen to the rest of the part, yeah? And the blood circulations also deliver to, especially for men. Many people, we have erectile problem. This one settles for that. All right? So don't ask me how. This is the answer. Okay? Those uh, gentlemen, erectile problem. <laughs> All right. Now, and then DNA protections and repair. This is another ADM that is we are focusing on. Now, this DNA is very, very interesting. Now, this data shown, you know, how many of you know what is telomeres? DNA? You know what DNA is? Now, this picture shows chromosome. It's like X, you know, chromosome, X. All right, inside chromosome, we have DNA, right? We have DNAs, like, like noodles, like Maggie noodles, like that, coil, okay? At the two end tips of the, the noodle, okay, the DNA, there is called telomeres. It's like our shoelace. We have the plastic cap, okay? All right? And many years, we already know that this plastic cap actually holds, um, um, how to say, um, it actually determines all aspects of your health, of your life. 
and the shorter you have, the shorter life you have. The, the shorter you have, the more diseases you are prone to have. So that many people already published. But a lot of science want to see how to prevent it from getting shorter. Because as we age, this telomere gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So therefore, this causes aging as well. Uh, okay? So that's uh, DNA protections. DNA, we want to protect this DNA. So instead of letting these telo telomeres to prevent it from shorter and shorter, it can grow longer. Use pen can make it grow longer. It's not what I say. It's what the research papers say. That is why we can live more youthful years because of this. Okay, so that is DNA protection. What about the repairing part? The repairing of apoptosis. Apoptosis means a very jargon word, right? Now, apoptosis means the death of your cell, you know, meaning your cell die. Lah, okay, but some want to die, some commit suicide. They want to die prematurely. Some want to die, don't want to die. Okay, so now these are the cell that the DNA is not die yet. Okay, the one to die cannot die. So either this part, you spend, repair it or make it die. Okay, either or. There's no in between. Okay, in between meaning it will cause cancer. So when we have this DNA protections and apoptosis mechanism, our cancer rate will be tremendously reduced by this mechanism alone. Is that amazing? Can we give Y span, you spend a round of applause? You know, when I read this, I am almost jaw drop. you know. We have been trying to find how to prevent this from shorter, and yet you spend say can grow longer. Oh my God. So tell the person next to you, I am going to live long. You want to live long? Yeah. Okay, next. The, the next ADM is tissue regeneration mechanism. Now, this is very interesting. I shown a brain here because ADM, the sixth ADM with six color representation, um, it actually trigger the entire brain tissues. All right. Now, um, unfortunately, you spend actually, you know, um, increase your brain derived neurotrophic factor, meaning that it caused your brain to regenerate. It caused your brain to grow again. It caused your brain, especially the neuron, to grow back because it's neurotrophic factor. So we will, we will see this area. Okay, I'll show you an example. This is Miss Helen, one of our leaders here. You know, she had, um, she had um, you know, an incident last year that she had a subdural hemorrhage, meaning that the skin, the skull, inside the skull and the brain, there is a membrane, the, there is a bleeding inside. Okay, it's subdural hemorrhage. Now this is very, very critical. Not many people survive, survive by this. So she went for operation two round. She went for two round of ox and then open skull some more. Okay? Not by keyhole, my first time keyhole, second time open skull. Now open skull, the survival rate is very, very low. And the recovery rate is very low. So upon after op, after the operation, the doctor advised her, you know, the consequences of the operations, meaning that she would experience probably she will experience half paralyzed, she will experience some of the mobility issues, like, you know, the muscle, the strength, she cannot grip things properly, you know, she cannot walk in a straight line. You know, that is the possible of what, um, after the operations, the, the side effects of the operations. But unfortunately, she had at all, okay, she had all of this. And then when we have operated in this area, you know, in this scar area, meaning that, you know, those people who went through operations, you know, you know, after the scarring, you can't feel that part. The scar, you can't feel because it's dead skin. And the neuron, you know, the nerve system is not working very well in that area. So therefore, when she combed her hair, she cannot feel. But to our surprise, after Y span, after U span, with a short period of time, she can feel the comb stroke down her head. And she can feel that and the way she walked also improved. Now, obviously, she doesn't only take Y-Span. She has many, many other supplements to just boost her up. So, therefore, her recovery rate is fast. But her memory come back after Y-Span. Her memory come back, her memory improve, you know. You know, sometimes the long-term memory, it affects the long-term memory after the op. But the, long, the memory, you know, slowly regain. And that is how 
this Y span, this U span actually trigger this part of ADF, the tissue regeneration. Now this is one part of tissue regen regeneration that U span can do for you. Another part of tissue regeneration is your bone. You know, as you age, we have osteoporosis, right? Our bone density become, you know, less dense. This Y span, this U span can trigger the bone to regenerate. Is that amazing? Yeah. Are you excited about that? So meaning that when we get older, we have lesser chance to get fractured. So we can go kick football. We can run, you know, fall down, you know, because now when we get older, we go roller skate also scared, you know, because we're scared we have, we had a fall and then fractured, that's it. Now fractured, it doesn't mean, you know, doctor operation, put some steel inside, you are recovered, no. We still have to trigger your ADM to do bone repair. But with you span, it can repair faster. Now the best part is prevent it from fracture. That is what we want to achieve. Okay? So this tissue regeneration is not only for brain, not only for your bone, but for your muscle. That's how I mentioned your muscle degenerate, right? Yeah, as we get older, we lost two to five percent of muscle every year. But this one, you span actually preserve your losing of muscle and not only preserve those gentlemen who go to gym, it generates your muscle in, at a faster rate. Wonderful news, right? Wonderful news, right? I know all of you are very hot. With muscle more, you are getting hotter, you know. Your metabolism is even more. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys are simply amazing. No matter how warm this place is, I know some of you are sweating inside already and you still stay put, I tell you. Give yourself another round of applause. <laughs> now, this part is another ADM. It's another aging defense mechanism that regulates our metabolism. Now, many people ask me, oh, you spend actually, you know, improve our metabolism, meaning that I can lose weight. Uh, unfortunately, no. This part is only to regulate your lipid metabolism. Lipid metabolism is your fat metabolism in your blood vessel, not your fat cell, okay? So it doesn't burn your, this part of adipose tissue, no. But it's burned within the blood vessel itself. So there's a, there's a published show, uh, the research shows that, you know, why spend ingredient actually reduce triglyceride and cholesterol level within your bloodstream itself. So meaning that when you are young, how come the youngster do not have this? Those people below 30 years old, they don't have, they don't have triglyceride high, they don't have high blood pressure, they don't, they have lesser, okay? They don't, they, they, they have lesser chance to get cholesterol high. Why? Because their lipid metabolism is normal. They can metabolize it as per normal. But as we age, this part of the function, the switch doesn't on anymore, all right? So therefore, we accumulate all this plaque within our blood vessel and causing triglyceride high, cholesterol high. So with you span, this part restore back to function. All right? So some of you, you have cholesterol high, you ask me, e Belinda, then I can take or not? I got cholesterol high, I got triglyceride. What do you think? Yes. And I don't have this, eh? I don't have cholesterol high, you know? I don't have. Can you take or not? Yes, to prevent it. We want to restore the function back to normal. We are not here to solve your problem. We are not here to solve the symptom. We are here to solve your aging root problem. All right, which we are able to trigger your gene expression, we are able to trigger your aging defense mechanism so that every single part of your body restore back to normal, like a computer system, reboot, reboot your body system. Okay, now the next one is um, mechanism that regulate your inflammatory balance. Now, when we have inflammations, you know, our body generates certain kind of enzymes, certain kind of protein, which especially is cytokine. Just now, when the green man stand there, you know, cytokine respond. All right, cytokine is uh, inflammation's balance kind of response. Cytokine production in your body is good because it protects you. It sends the army to send signal to protect this part of your body which is injured. So that is what cytokine work. But prolonged generation of cytokine will keep on create a lot of cytokine in your body is going to do harm to you which cause chronic inflammation diseases which is diabetic cardiovascular which is heart problem and cancer prolonged having inflammations in your body have higher chance of getting cancer 
Okay? Now, some of you stay in the days. Let me give you another illustration. For example, how many of you brush your teeth every day? <laughs> Two times per day? Morning and night, right? You know brush, brushing teeth is very, very important. It's good for you, right? You only brush two times per day. It's the same as we know cytokine is good for us. Once a while we produce, it's good. Now imagine you 24 hours, take your toothbrush, just brush and brush and brush. What will happen to your gum? Bleed. Your gum will bleed. So production of cytokine is good, but always there is no good. Brush your teeth two times per day is good, but brush your teeth 24 hours per day is no good. All right? So this is exactly what this inflammation balance is all about. We want to balance, don't brush your teeth so many times, two times enough. Okay? Just produce cytokine at the right time, at the right place. Enough. Don't overproduce. Overproduce, you have all these diseases. Okay? Got it? Does that mean that you have lesser chance to get cancer? Yes. You have lesser chance for that. Does that mean that you, have, you don't have a chance to jab insulin? Yes. Your pancreas can function better because no information in your body. This part you spend can settle this, this information balance already. Okay, now, so that's all for the six ADM. Now, why span is very unique. You know, it is combinations of 12 ingredients in this, and then, but unfortunately, it's not available everywhere. Okay, now it, it comes from different parts of the world and uh, it's very, very hard to obtain. Okay, these are the, the, these are the ingredients that is listed in our use pan. Now, example, this is sazantin. Many people, do you know what is sazantin? No. You take salmon, red color. Now, anything red is sazantin. I mean, in terms of marine life. Okay, so it's sazantin. Uh, you take lobster, okay, prawn. Okay, that is sazantin. But do you take that every day? No, we don't. So we take it occasionally, but we need this azazentine every day, two times per day. Now, another part of azazentine is, you know, we take crab, we take lobster, that's red color, right? Huh? Correct or not? Our crab is red, right? But we don't eat the shell. Azazentine are in the shell. <laughs> All this in the shell. You take lobster, you don't take the shell, right? But azazentine is in the shell. So that is why, why span we cannot take from normal diet. Got it? Okay? Now, another one is this citrus. Citrus. Okay? Now, we take citrus, we know it's orange, right? We know it's red orange, right? But it's not the orange itself, it's the skin. How many of you take the skin? No, we don't. But this is the part that's important to trigger your ADM. Okay? So when I see, when I calculated all this, you know, it's very, very convenient to just take use pen. It's very cost effective just to take use pen. I don't have to ask my mother, ask my, my grandmother to go and source all these things for me, you know, different part of the world. Okay, so you got it? All right. So how many of you already decided want to take use pen? You want to live young with use pen? You want to, you know, go roller skate when you're 80 years old? You know, we want to go bungee jump at 100 years old? Yeah, this is what use pen. You have use pen, you can do all this because it gives you energy, it gives you life, it gives you health. Okay, now some of us also compare with R squared. How many of you take R squared? Wow, a lot. Now, after I explain this, do you think this is a similar to R squared? In what way? In what way? Huh? R squared is very specific. R squared only triggered your, it's a targeted health. R squared main focus is to cellular purify and to cellular energize. When we talk about cellular purify, y span also got one stress response and detoxifications, right? Isn't that the same? It's different. It's different. Now imagine you have five routes to do something. You know, you are, you are only covered one or two routes. The rest is not covered yet. In other words, you know, for example, this detoxification, cellular purify. What happened, you know, you have, you have asked where you want to purify out all the metabolism ways and all this, but with why span? Okay, it enhances. So R squared gives you one cleaner inside you. Why span gives you five cleaner. So with these two together, you have five cleaner instead of just one R squared, you have one cleaner. Got it? You get what I mean? Why span enhances the function of use, uh, R squared. R squared is totally different from Y span. 
So both target at different areas. Now when we talk about we want energy, we want to we want to energize ourselves, we want you know energy boost, R squared. But when we have R squared and U span, we have more energy, we have five power bank instead of one. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? So Y span actually enhance the function of R squared, which Y span do not have. Got it? So now entire H log series we work together. There's no product that cover each other. I mean, uh, overtake, supersede each other. No. But we work together for a better health, for so that, you know, those people who take Y, those people who take R squared, put up your hand again. And you decided to take Y span, right? Put up another hand. So you have both hands out. All right. Now, these people, put up your hand. You live younger, longer. You will live younger and longer. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause. Yes. You have more energy as compared to those people who do not. Okay? All right? Now, people ask me, should I take Y span or should I take R squared? What is your answer? Both. Both. Like, wow, you know already. Ah. <laughs> okay. R squared, most of the time, settle, you know, I, I believe when you take R squared, you have certain certain things to, you know, to solve, like, you know, you have more energy, you don't want to have, you know, you want to gain back your memory, you want to have brain cell, you know, triggered, you want to have detoxification, you want to sleep better, yes, R square can help you that, all right? So existing problem, you know, R square can help you to restore, repair. The repairing rate for R square is a lot more, okay? You spend prevent you from further damage, you get what I mean? prevent you from further damage when you have both, meaning that you are vaccinated with aging vaccine, with age vaccine, meaning that you will not age. Imagine 80 years old, 100 years old, you still look like that. You still look like that, 80 years old, 100 years old, 120 years old. Took, look the person on your right, on your left. Just imagine, visualize they are 120 years old. They will look like that because you lock your age. You are vaccinated. I always say when we vaccine ourselves against hepatitis B, we are not scared of hepatitis B virus. But today when we have U span, when we have Y R squared, we are vaccinated against age, we are not scared of aging problem anymore. That is what age lock can give you. Alright? So with age lock, you know, we can change this group of people to this. Just now, you know, when I asked how many of you have aged parents, aged grandparents, or you yourself are aged. You know, we can actually prevent this and we can live more youthful years. Instead of lazing around, waiting for your time in the nursing home or in the home alone. You know, eh, when you age uh, at this, it's not, I don't know how you feel. It's not the, um, the life that <coughs> I'm looking forward at least. I am not looking forward for this kind of life. Because first, um, if I can live long without wide span, all right, I'll be ended up either in wheelchair you know, home alone because all my kids will be out, all right? And probably husband die already because guys uh, die younger. <laughs> huh? So uh, not that I want to curse, but that's a realistic thing. Huh? I, I, I know I'm going to live long, okay? <laughs> then we'll be very lonely. I think we'll be very, very lonely. So when we age, when I see my retired father, we are very lonely. They don't know what to do. Go here also cannot, go there also cannot, you know? Because I, I don't know. But with wise span, if you take wise pen, the rest of your friend die. Also no point. So want to take, all take together. <laughs> Correct or not? <laughs> so again, for the last 20 years of your life, which part would you want? Which one do you want to have? You want to cheers with champagne or you want to, you know, wait for your food to be served in a hospital bed? You can make a choice. So when I see wise pen, when I see you pen, the word explained by itself, it gives us youthfulness for years. So I'm going to choose this part. What about you? I'm going to choose this. What about you? <coughs> so we can cheers together, right? When we celebrate Singapore 100, SG 100, all of us still here, right? Yeah, yeah then we can cheer together, right? Yeah. That is what you spend can prepare us for SG 100. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And with age law, with youth span, you know, I truly believe all of us, we can live younger, we can live longer, years, right? Not only that, help the person around us. Because it's no fun to live long ourselves. 
you know, live, we live longer with our parents, with our loved ones, with our friends. That is the greatest joy that I think we can have. So with wise band, you know, leverage on this wise band. You know, wise band with this ADM, it settles every single part of our body, right? Do you feel your gene being on, being triggered now? How many of you feel younger now? Tell the person next to you, oh, you look so young. <laughs> you look so young. That is what your spend is going to give you. All right. I hope today you enjoy my sharing. Thank you very much. My name is Belinda.